What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today for BET Presents The Encore. This is season one, this is episode three, and it's titled Doodle Record. So, you guys, without further ado, actually, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other view, review on the channel and you're not subscribed to the channel, why are we still going out on dates, you guys? Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. It's free. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. Great episode. All right, you guys. So this episode, it picked up where the last one left off. You guys remember the ladies had gotten into it with Keely, right? So Keely started crying, right? The twins, the twins, the twins, <laughs> the twins. They annoy me. Gotta be real with you. So one of the, I don't know, I, see, I don't know who was who, but one of the twins was talking to her. Actually, they both pulled her to the side and they were having a conversation with her. And she was like, should I just go home? Please and thank you. That's what I would have said, but they didn't say that. So basically, I think one of the twins is telling Keely to take responsibility for... <sighs> but see, my thing is with the twins, you did call it correct when it came to Keely. Keely is a stir. Like, that's what she is. She's doing that. But someone else that's doing it, Aubrey O'Day. We're going to talk about Aubrey. So, was it Felicia that called her the stir in the last episode? I think it was. If it was her, she apologized to Keely. I'm like, girl, you better than me. I wouldn't apologize to Keely, but whatever. I'm going to let you have that one. So, then we see the other girls talking. I was so confused. So Pam, Misha, and Irish. I don't know how Pam is included in this one because you ain't got no husband. <laughs> they talking about making a record to praise your husband. Girl, if y'all don't go find Tina and um, Erica Campbell from Mary Mary and join that group, y'all will be fine. So then they go down to the studio and they listen to a song that the twins came up with and the song was really good. What was the name of the song, you guys? Oh my God. Ah, did I write it down? I did not. It was such a good song. I loved it. Oh God, it was such a good song. Bird, Bird's Eye View. That's the name of it. I did put it in my notes. That song, I was like, oh shit. Like, here we go. We're getting some music. And it came from it came from the twins. I was like, ooh, the twins. Mm. You can't stand the twins, but you, you can't deny the fact that they do have some talent. Okay. So Irish wants so Irish wants Misha to hear the song, but what did Misha do? Misha went and went to sleep. We gonna talk about Misha in this episode for sure. We are definitely gonna talk about Misha because I just got a little bit of a bone to pick with Misha. But yeah, we much guys. So the next morning, Keely and Misha, they were in the kitchen talking and Misha is talking about the fact that Keely is supposed to be, is, is like a mediator. To who? Who is she mediating? What has she mediated? Keely has done literally nothing. And after Aubrey said it in last week's episode, I noticed it in this week's episode as well. Anytime you see Keely, Keely is in pajamas with a glass of wine. If she doesn't have a glass of wine, she has a glass of coffee. She has something in her hand and Keely is not doing anything. So what in the hell is she mediating? mediating the is like what is she mediating she's mediating nothing hell she ain't even doing a creative director work girl shut up now so they're still they, they, somehow they ventured back to this two group thing i don't know how and i don't know when they ventured back to it but it doesn't sound bad it's not a bad idea because what i feel like they could do for the album like they could do like what um, Outkast did to speak a box and a love below. They could do something like they could do something similar to that. 
they could also do there have been other groups who've done stuff like that I'm just trying to think about who else in the past has done stuff like that where they literally split the album I mean I could do like what we used to do back in the um in the, in the days of the cassette tapes you have an A side you have a B side like y'all could do that so um so yeah that's what they want to do they want to split you know they want to have the two groups and then when they need to do the songs that they all need to be on, they'll come together and do that collectively, which is not a bad idea. Now, here's what also confused me with Keely. You guys remember the night before when Aubrey presented her interesting looking vision board, Keely wasn't here for it. But when she and Mish were talking about the vision board, Keely was here for the vision board. And I was just like, say what? You're here for the vision board? Girl, whatever. Whatever, Keely. Like I said, Keely is there to. Keely is literally here for the mess. That's what Keely here is here for. But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So next, Elijah and Cosign. So they come over to the house, right, to work with the girls. So what I'll do is I will put up a picture. It sh it'll probably be over here. So what they're doing is they have a song. They have a they have a song. So like I said, it'll be up here. They have a song that they're working on, and then it is, it's certain members in the group. Now, I didn't take down who was in the group, so that's why the picture will be up above me at some point. But I do know that the twins were in the studio, and Irish and Lamisha were in the studio, right? So here's my issue when it comes to Lamisha, right? Lamisha, it's an insecurity thing with, when it comes to Lamisha. And I think... You know, it can be, you could say it stems from the, 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 the mess with the twins, right? Like the twins are talking about how they're not good singers, they're not good dancers, which they, I'm pretty sure that they know that. So they're talking about writing a song, and Lamisha's like, you know, she's not as, you know, as quick. She can't write a song like those girls can, which I don't think anyone is saying to you, you need to have, you need to write a song tonight. Let's get it, let's get something. Let's get something down, and we can work on that. Um, but then Lamisha gets sick. Now, I'm not saying that she didn't get sick, but it was just very convenient and coincidental that she got sick while they're talking about writing this song. So because Lamisha is sick, they're not going to record this song, which I was like, why not? Like, why don't y'all get in the booth, record your, like, Record whatever you going whatever you gonna put down on the track, and then we all get when she's feeling better, y'all get home the track. Like I was confused by that. So at this point, they're talking about they only have one song, and that song is called Skeletons, which seems like all the girls like the song Skeletons, and we're gonna talk about that. Now, what I will say about the twins, I may not like the twins, which I don't care for the twins, but I will say that the twins are putting in work. So. When Lamisha went to bed, right, the twins started working on this song called Talking, which I'll put that up here as well, who's in that group as well. That song sounded good. I was like, and I tweeted, I'm like, Carlos, we need this album because these songs actually sounded good to me. The only song that I don't like, and that was the, that was the reggae song from last week, I, 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 I wouldn't buy that song if you paid me. Even if it was free, I wouldn't take it. So then we see the next morning, Pam is dancing with the um, choreographer. I'm like, Pam, girl, for you to not have wanted Aubrey to rub on your leg, for people to get the impression that you are a lesbian, girl, the way that you're dressed and the way that you look is very much giving me lesbian. Literally, it's giving me I must die. <laughs> Sorry, Pam. That's what it's giving me. Let's move on. All right, you guys, here's a question. Why in the hell is Keely in the studio? Creative director. Why are you in the studio? You not writing. You not producing. You not mixing. You not mastering. You not doing a lick of ish. Why are you in the studio with these girls? It does not make sense. Because we see the next morning that the twins and Aubrey 
are in the studio. Now they want to go and see if you know get Misha, but Misha is still sick. Coincidentally, now Aubrey, you messy. I see right through you. Cause she's talking about you know um, Misha and my and Irish can do the oohs and the ahs on a song. I'm like you can do some oohs and ahs too. You can do a ooh, my face is fucked up. Like you can do some oohs and ahs. Ooh. Oh, why does my face look like this? Ooh, I jacked up my body. Ooh, I need to sue my doctor. Ooh, I like I'm about to bust. Got a lot of oohs and ahs for you, Aubrey. Just saying. Ah, my face hurts. <laughs> I can go on for days with that one. So then we finally get Misha in the studio. So she starts singing a song. Mm. 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 You know what? They, my grandma and my mom always told me if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So I ain't got nothing to say. But she said that that is not my tone not your tone okay let's move on so in the song that they're singing it has the word ho in it h-o-e so Pam was like oh no I'm not saying ho I'm not calling any woman a ho Pam you don't have to call a woman a ho I know why you don't want to call a woman a ho but whatever you can say I got pros I got pros in different area codes, area, area codes, codes, pros. Like, come on, area codes. Ludacris said hoes in it. I don't know how many times, but if you guys back in the, in the 2000s, you guys are on the radio stations with the edited version, it says pros. You don't have to call the woman, women hoes. You can say pros, like, but whatever. Pam is making a big fuss about that, so she doesn't want to be on that record. I was like, girl, it ain't that deep. <laughs> so, since Pam doesn't want to be on this song, Misha asked, how about we all be on the other song, Bird's Eye View? <laughs> the twins. Shady. They say... <coughs> My bad, y'all. The twins say, oh... Well, not everyone can sing on that song. I was like, oh, shit. That was shady. And Nivea caught the shade. You know, Nivea is my spirit animal. Nivea gives me everything I need. There is someone on Twitter that just made a, um, that made a whole bookmark of, actually, no, it's a whole tweet thread of her gifts, gifts, gifs. GIFs. Go check it out. I will, if I can remember to find it and I might link it in the description bar below. I might, I don't know. But yeah, Nivea is, Nivea is it. All right, you guys, so let's pause here and move forward. All right, you guys, so Sita. Sita calls the girls together and she asked them, how's everything going? They were like, oh, it's going good. Nivea said, girl, it's a real struggle in here. I was, she said, it's a real struggle bus in here. I was like, thank you. If ain't nobody gonna say it, Nivea's gonna say it. <clears throat> and Nivea's just talking about how it is. You know, she is the only true solo artist here, but all these other ladies are acting like they're solo artists as well. Now, here's my thing. Oh, I mean, this is really interesting though. Because when you think about this group of ladies and you think about the voices, right? If you were to think about who would be the lead singer in this situation, for me, I would say the lead singers would actually be Nivea and Shamari and everyone else would be backing vocals. Because outside of Shamari and Nivea, I don't really see any of the ladies having strong voices 
what Aubrey does is Aubrey screams, Aubrey screams, the twins, one of them is one of them is better than the other, and I don't know which one it is. One of them can sing better than the other. I think it is Felicia that sings better than Fallon. And then the rest. You got the rest. <clears throat> now with Pam, I will say Pam's voice is not bad, but it's not. She doesn't have the strongest voice. And then on top of that, Pam's voice is deeper than the other ladies and then iris and lamisha uh yeah we already know about those two <clears throat> so what they're going to do today is they are going to vote for a queen now what they can do is they can vote for a new queen or they can keep the same queen in pam so they do a vote and they vote on a new queen that new queen is aubrey o'day Good luck with that one. So what Aubrey wants to do is she wants to see if Cosign has any other songs because the reggae song, it's out. Thank God it's out. So the twins. All right, you guys. So Irish and Lamisha did go in the studio and record, <laughs> record something, right? When the twins went to look for it in the studio, it was gone. I was like, oh shoot, somebody deleted it. Shady. Shady, 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 shady. And it was the vocals on that song, Talking. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Now I will say, I will be on Irish and Lamisha's side that they were pissed about that. Like, that isn't Jack, that is janky. Like, we laid our track, we laid our track, laid our vocals on this track. Now y'all telling us you don't have it. Now y'all wanted to re record it. No go to hell so i was with them on that one but let's move on you guys and wrap the episode up right all right you guys now before they did that so irish and lamisha did go back in the studio and they did do and it was literally some oohs and ahs with maybe one line and i was like oh god that is terrible and the sad part was irish didn't know the line i was like girl it's simple, but okay. So then they have dinner. And Aubrey says that she wants them to sing more on the tracks. And Lamisha was like, ho, 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 baby girl. Pump your brakes. You know something that I noticed in this episode about Lamisha? Right here. If y'all look at her hair right here. Her edges are thin. From one thin edge. From one person with thin, with thin to no edges. I want to came on camera with my edges like that. That's why I got this camera, this cap on, so y'all can't see my edges or lack thereof. Girl, yeah, no, 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 no. So Lamisha is mad, saying that you know, um, did Aubrey read the? <laughs> did she read the mandate? Because it said that they, um, they, you know, it all, they all need to be on what three songs together, and at this point, they ain't on no, they all ain't on no songs together. And for the majority, for the most part, the twins are on every song, which I would be pissed off about that. But, but, when it comes to the studio, the twins are the only ones that we see in the studio. And then Lamisha is mad talking about that they don't ever work as a team. And I'm like, but Lamisha, they actually did try to work with you when you got sick and you stayed in bed. So, you gonna blame the twins for that? Again, I don't like the twins, but yeah, that was on you, boo-boo. And then the twins and Lamisha got into it. So now they saying that they gonna scrap the records that they already have. I was like, uh, girl, hell no. Please don't do that. Like some of those records were good. And then they're like, well, you know, we can sell them to Justin Bieber. We can sell them to Ariana Grande. I was like, please, just, please, for the love of God. Don't do that, especially not Bieber. Ariana Grande, I'll take, but Bieber, absolutely not. Mm -mm. And it was in this moment when I realized about the twins. The twins value themselves like really, really, really high. Like the twins feel that they're up here and that everybody else is 
down here. Low. I was like, ooh, when I grow up, I want to have the self-esteem of the twins because they have high self-esteem. I like how they plug their song Unappreciated. Because one of them said, I'm feeling very unappreciated. I was like, oh, okay. Plug your song. Plug one of your, one of your two songs that everybody know. Because that's the only song I know about Cherish. But, and the other one, do it to it. But yeah, you guys, that's our episode review. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video. And until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Be safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.